Hi guys, welcome to my new video. If you like me, learned some English a while ago but haven't used it for a long time and now you want to pick up or improve your English, then this video is for you. My name is Ganna, I'm a non-native English speaker and in this video I want to tell you about four things that help me become fluent in English if practiced regularly. I will give you useful resources and tips to help you become fluent. I'll add all the links down below the video. Okay, let's get straight to the video. First of all, we will talk about listening. Listening is very important in English. It is important to understand what the person you are talking to is saying. Otherwise, it will be a very awkward conversation. I have been studying English for some time and uh, I thought my listening skills were at a high level. But when I first came to Canada, I realized that it is quite difficult to understand real people in a real conversation. Because people speak fast, use shortcuts like coulda, shoulda, woulda instead of could have, should have or would have. For example, uh, they use slang, idioms, they have different accents that an untrained ear just can't understand. Canada is a beautiful multicultural country. People come here from all around the world. So to communicate successfully, you need to develop your listening skills. If you want to speak fluently, you need to start practicing this skill every day. I really like the transcription technique and highly recommend it for developing listening skills. It is useful for anyone who wants to improve their listening skills and can be used at all levels, from beginner to advanced. Um, I talk more about this technique in this video. And basically, it is very simple. All you need is a pen, a piece of paper and uh, an audio or video piece to listen to. That's it. First, you listen to the entire piece without subtitles uh, to catch the main idea of the video. Then you rewind and play the short segments one at a time and write down what you hear. You can do this several times and then compare your version of the transcript with the original transcript of the fragment. It can be, for example, a very short video clip, about five minutes. The only thing is you have to listen to the fragment and actively try to understand it. There are so many free great resources. Uh, YouTube is one of them. There you can find videos for any level and uh, start practicing right away. TED Talks are a great tool for practicing listening. Uh, you can find their long and short talks uh, on many interesting topics. And each talk comes with a transcript. It can be also a TV show of your choice. And by the way, you can find many transcripts of TV shows on the Simply Scripts website. Just do it every day and your listening skills will improve. Next, let's talk about grammar. Recently, I was chatting with a nice girl from Mexico and we were discussing how best to learn a foreign language. Uh, she had recently moved to US and uh, she told me, Ghana, I spent two years practicing grammar, several hours a day, but now I realize that it's getting me nowhere. I can't talk to people fluently. I am so frustrated. Of course, memorizing grammar rules alone will not turn you into a fluent speaker, but don't ignore learning grammar. Yes, learning grammar alone won't make you fluent, but when combined with other skills, uh, it will give you a solid foundation. Uh, you need to know grammar structures to be able to build sentences correctly in speech, uh, be able to use tenses, um, ask questions. Otherwise, people simply won't understand you. But the question is where to start. And first of all, you need to test yourself to identify your weak spots and uh, filling the gaps. Again, there are many resources for this. And below I'm providing a link 
uh, to a great website where you can test yourself and uh, identify where you need to improve. Uh, this site is just great. I recently came to the conclusion that doing lots of grammar exercises is one of the things that has helped me uh, make progress in my English. And by the way, here is the book I used um, at the very beginning of my language learning. Um, it is a good old Murphy book. Um, yeah, it is still with me and I think it's great. Um, I used to do one unit a day uh, on this book and um, it was really helpful. You can also check out sites like the British Council that uh, offers uh, online exercises. Um, another useful resource is the 6-minute grammar podcast. Um, you can listen to it anywhere. There are many resources available for you to study, so uh, check your grammar level and uh, start filling in the gaps. Vocabulary. Okay, here is the biggest piece of advice I can give. Never stop working on your vocabulary because vocabulary says a lot about you. The right words used at the right time tell other people that you are intelligent and well-spoken, but using the wrong words can make people think that uh, you are not very well educated. Just like you take time with your appearance to make a good impression, uh, you shouldn't forget about your vocabulary, because a good vocabulary makes a good impression too. Of course, if you are a beginner, you don't need to worry about advanced vocabulary, idioms, or so-called strong expressions like incredible instead of very good. Um, at the beginning stage of language learning, just learn simple words and uh, how to use them properly. That should be your only concern at this level. And by the way, speaking of concerns, um, I'm having a bit of a problem right now. I can't quite reach the like button on your screen. Could you please do me a favor and just click the like button if you're enjoying this video? And if you want to have more content like this from me, go ahead and subscribe too. Thank you very much. So, um, as you get better at English and uh, feel more comfortable, uh, it's good to learn new things to improve. A good goal for intermediate and uh, upper intermediate English speakers is to learn how to express themselves better. This is when you need to take your vocabulary to the next level. Start collecting words, uh, expand your vocabulary. And here are five great ways to do this. Firstly, keep a vocabulary or language journal where you can work with these words. Second, look up these words. Find the definition of the word in a monolingual dictionary. Uh, say these words out loud. Uh, saying them out loud will help you fix them in your memory. Third, try to use the new words in sentences, uh, in conversation or writing when talking to friends or doing a writing assignment. Fourth, study these words using spaced repetition systems like Anki or Quizlet, um, which are based on the forgetting curve theory uh, to help reinforce and remember vocabulary efficiently. And finally, create concept maps to connect new words with words that you already know with concepts, ideas, and images. Learn new words every day, and soon you'll be able to speak as beautifully as TED Talks presenters. And finally, let's talk about speaking. Many people think that speaking is the most difficult skill to master. And at the same time, this is the skill you need to communicate with other people. I mean, that is the point of the language. It's communication tool. Again, there are many resources for practicing speaking skills from finding a good tutor on Preply, Cambly, or italki to using the jam technique. 
uh, which is short for uh, just a minute where you have to pick a topic and start talking for a minute without interruption. I talked about it in this video. And for those who don't have anyone to practice with, I want to recommend a great free resource for practicing speaking. It is called Learn to Speak English Up. This app has over 5 million downloads uh, on the Play Store and very, very good reviews. It has over 900 lessons and uh, 8,000 audio files. Uh, what I like about this app is that it gives simple and relatable examples. You can learn a lot of English phrases and idioms with this app. Also, uh, the app has levels, uh, basic English, intermediate, uh, advanced. I mean, I live in an English-speaking country, and I know how people speak in everyday life as native speakers. Believe me, this app exactly replicates the language they speak. Hey, let's take a look at it. You see, they have different lesson categories. Uh, English-speaking basics, uh, travel English lessons, um, very helpful idioms and phrases. That's just amazing. Okay, let's try basic interview questions. Tell me a little about yourself. This is a very popular interview question. We can listen to how it sounds. Tell me a little about yourself. I attended MIT where I majored in electrical engineering. My hobbies include basketball, reading novels, and hiking. I grew up in Korea and studied accounting. I worked at an accounting firm for two years, and I enjoy bicycling and jogging. I'm an easygoing person that works well with everyone. I enjoy being around different types of people, and I always like to challenge myself to improve at everything I do. They also have short and long answers to this question with an explanation, and that's great. We can also record ourselves and uh, listen to it. So try this up and let me know in the comments below if it works for you. That's all I wanted to share today. I would be happy if any of this information is useful to you. So see you next time and happy learning.